So now we're gonna turn on our video, CG, and prompter computer. To reach over on the left-hand side underneath on the back, there's a power button. It's gonna bring our monitor on. Now we wait. Should have a little song that plays right here. You always wanna make sure that and your this... mouse and that your keyboard are on because these are both wireless mouse and keyboard. So the switch is in the top right-hand corner. You'll see that it's green, that means it's on. Same thing here, it's a green switch, means it's on. We're gonna come over here to next gen because we're doing our YA service. I'll click on that and I'll enter our password. Passwords will be provided by your upline. <laughs> or if you're staff, you should have a password already. Once I enter that password, it's gonna bring me into that particular profile. From there, you're able to open up any Spotify, which plays some of our tracks here, as well as opening ProPresenter or any other uh, program they need to open to run a video or CG prompter or so forth. Play, it, play a song real quick. So from there, I'm gonna open Spotify. And I can select a playlist. So for a playlist, I'm gonna to go to YA and uh, we'll select this. I'm gonna come back over to our audio console and I'm gonna go to aux in USB. When I click that, it brings up our auxiliary left and right and I can see that they're sending signal up here. So if I fade these up, you'll hear the audio pushing through. And that's how you'll play a track from your CG or audio computer. What turns on the what turns on the, the projector? For the projector, you use this remote labeled projector with a wonderful piece of orange gaff tape. There's a power button in the top left hand corner. You can usually turn it on from here. If it does not turn on from here, you'll need to walk up underneath it and power that on to show video on that end. Your switcher, which is right here, should already be set to push images from the computer to that direction. Let's shoot, 